Introducing the brand new Azimut 60 Flybridge. It embodies all the DNA of Azimut yachts, style, design, and a good deal of innovation. In short, it has all the amenities to enhance your yachting experience to the fullest. Sporty lines and larger volumes characterize this new generation of Azimut yachts designed by Stefano Rigini. Exterior features that lend the Azimut 60 its distinctive profile include the vertical bow and the newly designed larger windows, which on the starboard side are full height, offering unprecedented views of the sea, thanks also to this cutout in the bulwark. Here we are on board, where the exterior and interior furnishings draw on the experience of Achille Salvani, one of Architectural Digest's top 100 international designers. The design philosophy is based on the theme of timeless calm and elegance, which some commentators have likened to the new Italian Renaissance, but reviewed from an entirely contemporary perspective. The theme of soft, rounded forms is another feature of the furniture and fittings, created by expert craftsmen who used 40 different templates to create these curved sections. No fewer than three varieties of wood are used on board. Sand-colored brushed oak, pearl-colored closed pour Thai wood, and this high-gloss mahogany, all embellished with brass and stainless steel accents. These contrasting but complementary finishes provide a, a richness usually only found on a super yacht. Turning to the interior layout, here in the Dinette we find some rather special solutions. Starting with this fantastic view of the sea behind me, thanks to the full height window and of course the cutaway in the bulwark, but that's not all. Unique for this size of boat is the fact that the Dinette also serves as a second living area. And that's how we see it now, with this low coffee table. But this is height adjustable and can be raised and fold out to provide dining space for a full complement of six guests. Confirming the Azimuth signature style, the flybridge is extremely spacious and divided into three areas. The helm station with pilot and co-pilot seat. The sun lounger behind me, the dinette and frigo bar, and aft, there's another very special living area. Stefano Rugini was able to extend the flybridge further aft to provide room for this secluded open air saloon furnished with these comfy home style sofas. And these cushions, closed cell phone cushions, are upholstered in a fabric that's super soft to the touch, but also very easy to maintain even in a marine environment. The main deck forward offers another private oasis for alfresco living, a revolution on a yacht of this size. Now, it might look like a fairly standard four-deck layout, but the sunbathing area can be transformed into an open-air saloon with two facing sofas, offering a beautiful area for sipping cocktails in the evening or enjoying breakfast in the morning. And shade is provided by the bimini overhead, supported by four carbon poles, which can be easily stowed underneath the seating. Not forgetting, of course, the traditional alfresco dining area here on the main aft deck, which in this case is furnished with a dining table made from sintered marble with teak edging. But there's another very cool feature, the privacy screen, which can be raised or lowered when moored stern to in the marina. There are two options for the crew accommodation of the transom, a double cabin, which provides more space for the crew, or a single cabin. Now, in that case, you also get this extra storage area with sufficient space for a sea bob, clean equipment, or diving gear. The 
striking design of the galley features a worktop and storage units with these curved forms that reflect the design of the ceiling. And all the appliances are by Emile, a top brand producer, and the only one who tests its products to an equivalent of 20 years of use and the lowest possible energy consumption. In addition, the galley is fully equipped with a dishwasher, double sink and even space for a wine cooler. Below deck, the Azimut 60 offers three cabins and three bathrooms. Here in the owner's suite amidships, the styling borrows something from home-based design with these suspended floating furniture units. The wardrobe behind me and the bathroom are positioned between the engine room and the cabin so as to keep noise and vibration to a bare minimum. On the bridge, the yacht's equipped with the latest equipment, identified by Azimut's Innovation Lab, that ensures optimal boat management solutions. Active trim control automatically adjusts the trim of the yacht while underway, guaranteeing the lowest possible fuel consumption. But at the same time, it also provides optimal visibility forward. Electronic power steering allows you to customize the helm sensitivity by regulating the number of wheel turns and the force required. It also increases safety because the maximum steering angle is reduced at full throttle and increased at idle speed. So that's the Azimut 60 flybridge and the pure DNA of Azimut Yachts. Please visit www.azimutyachts.com for more information.